Green technologies such as offshore wind and solar power are changing the way we produce energy. They're seen as a crucial weapon in the fight against global warming. Unlike conventional energy sources such as gas, coal and oil, which tend to be geographically concentrated, all countries have at least one abundant exploitable source which is renewable. The challenge lies in developing technologies and adapting existing grids to accommodate a new, more decentralized system fed by sometimes intermittent sources. No wind, for example, means no electricity. But battery technologies, long an obstacle in the delivery of renewables-based electricity, have vastly improved. Energy-saving batteries are already being mass-produced for electric vehicles, while advanced hydrogen fuel cell systems for vehicles could begin rolling off assembly lines within several years. Residential energy storage technology, especially when coupled with increasing solar panel capacity, could also become an attractive option for homeowners. Renewables already generate double the amount of electricity produced by nuclear power and its share of global energy consumption has increased five-fold since 2000. Technology improvements and lower costs for solar, wind and battery storage in particular have played a key role in increasing the amount of green energy produced globally. Some experts predict that falling costs of electric cars combined with renewable technology may stymie growth in oil demand from as early as 2020. The power and road transport sectors account for around half of fossil fuel consumption. However, even if solar and wind capacity continues to grow at breakneck speed, scientists warn that it may not be fast enough to cap global warming under 2 degrees Celsius, the core goal of the 2015 Paris Climate Treaty. Once global warming was exclusively a naturally occurring process. The Earth's atmosphere is made up of gases, some of which absorb infrared radiation. This means they retain heat from the sun, forming a thermal layer around the planet. Without this so-called greenhouse effect, temperatures would be around minus 18 degrees Celsius, so there would be no or little life on Earth. But the warming process has been destabilized as levels of key greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide, have reached their highest in 800,000 years. In the last 130 years, the global average surface temperature has risen by 0.85 degrees Celsius. The current trend could lead to a 4 degree rise after another 80 years. Scientists agree that humans are influencing the climate system. Through fossil fuel burning, around 2,000 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide have been emitted since the start of the Industrial Revolution in 1750. Intensive agriculture. Methane produced by the sector accounts for 10 to 12% of global greenhouse gas emissions, 40% of which come from livestock alone. And deforestation, which destroys carbon dioxide absorbing vegetation. Recent climate changes are already impacting humans and natural systems worldwide, with an increase in phenomena like worsening drought, flooding, rising seas as glaciers melt and seawater expands, ocean acidification and the extinction of species. United Nations climate experts warn of devastating and irreversible consequences if global warming is not quickly and sharply limited.